we're jumping in with the next Dura Dura episode, and what can we say? Well, it's a bit of half action. The gang, the gang that that everyone calls Dota Chin, although that's not his name, uh, have picked up Isaiah's sister and Mikado and Anri, and are driving away from some fi some some biker gangs that are dressed like ze zebras. Well, they're zebra-like clothes. And they meet up with Selti, who is also chased by the same people. As they begin to talk to each other what to do, Selti reminisces of, of the past and how she got to know Dota Chin or and, <laughs> and his comrades and how uh, <laughs> Shinra compared her to a Sundere <laughs> and all that stuff. So, um, they decides to um, try to uh, get rid of them while uh, and they success at the beginning it seems they do but they uh, leave uh, the kids outside while they're trying to deal with them because they don't want to leave a woman alone however they uh, a selty fights the gang by herself she uh, gets help from a unknown guy in um that uh, and an unknown armor Apparently, the one with the eye has is possessed by Saika, the the cursed sword, as um, uh, as uh, Selty warns those two to stay away from a motorcycle cop and not to pick a fight with a guy in a bartender suit, no matter what. Uh, she escapes while this this guy deals with them. Elsewhere, these zebra-like guys meet their end when they unfortunately happen to damage the clothes uh, of <laughs> shoes of the guy in the bartender. <laughs> He's just like, uh, my clothes. <laughs> and he just decides to crush everyone. As, um, as his little brother and the... Uh, and the girl who is a serial killer Hollywood still bond over the fact that they're feeling alone and she is revealing that uh, she is more very very suicidal which is back to uh, the mysterious bandage guy that was apparently called Egor it was one of the guy it was the d dude that uh, Isaiah's sister saved by getting to the restaurant and he has been their delivery boy for a whole day and Selty also remnants, uh, decides to learn cooking, help thank to Anri Chan and helps and gets help from the two stalking duo or the obsessed one, the one who's obsessed with Selty's head and the one who's obsessed with him. The guy who is obsessed with uh, the lucky couple. As they eat uh, food together, Selty, Shinra, Tota and his friends Anri and Mikado, uh, they all have a nice time uh, and uh, <laughs> Shinra even suddenly gets us some kind of kiss from Selty with her helmet <laughs> uh, later on uh, is at Isaiah's office it's mentioned that uh, his assistant asks isn't he just jealous because he's not the center of attention but Isaiah just says that uh, He's merely watching everything, and uh, until he's attacking. Elsewhere, though, the mysterious blue-haired guy—I uh, lost his name for now—who uh, is men who somehow apparently says that Mikado, or he knows, or whatever. Well, I know, but I'm I'm just gonna rely on Lin that you don't know. It says that Mikado is the guy who created dollars, and apparently. Mm, these violent gang fights uh, are just something in the way. So uh, we must. So he says they must declare war on Isaiah. Declare war on Isaiah. Well, oh, that's dangerous. But it says to lay the hands on the twin sisters. As some um, and uh, as one of his gang call him Izumi, he gets angry. Apparently, saying he has a bad experience with the brother. Well, that's basically this episode. Some of what action and some more per more fun part. Had some uh, touching moment with Selty and Shinra. How Selty is. She really is a Sundere. And all that. This also showed that Mikado really has a dark side to him.
because when he was chased by the gang, his hands were trembling, but he was smiling, proving that his hands was not shaking in fear, but rather in excitement. We still haven't really seen much of Shuso, but uh, we did get his established moment. It was also pretty funny when Tom, when uh, Tom, his friend, saw Shuso throwing away the bicycle, he just did like this, or whatever, which way is the right one. Damn right, when you were angry Shuso, that's the only thing you can pray for. That's basically this episode, give me your thoughts if you have any.